Kenyatta Yard, and we are at Antioch Baptist Church, located off 268 East Julian Street here in San Jose. With me, I have Pastor Lawson of the church, and today we celebrated Family, Friends, and Community Day. Yes. Yes, how long have you been hosting this event? Exactly what is Family, Friends, and Community Day? Well, first of all, I would like to say welcome to Antioch. Thank you. This Family, friend. Uh, day is something that's brand new. I brought it when I came here. I've been the pastor here for not quite five months. We did one in June. Every fifth Sunday we have Family and Friend Day, but today it's Family, Friend, and Community. So it's something that the people enjoy. It's a dress down day, come as you are. It's a very free uh, worship experience. So it's something that excites us and for people to come out like they came out and this is a holiday weekend. We yes. are very happy. Understood. Very happy. Understood. You said you don't have to dress up. You just right. come as you are. Come as you uh, are. That is a great community experience. So I'm assuming that do you have to be a member to participate in this event, or could you be any member of the community? Any member from the community. We have people uh, that attended today. We had them from Texas, uh, from Georgia, different places across the country. We specifically have a family, friend, and community day today because it's not just Antioch, it's the community that we serve. We want to be a service-oriented church and involved in the community. So you don't have to be a member, but if you visit enough, uh, I guarantee you, you will want to be a member of Antioch. Understood. We, we definitely enjoy how welcoming you are to us um, and you. the rest of the community. You say you had visitors all the way from Texas. Yes, we did. That is impressive. That is. Um, how often do you do this? Is this still a once a month? Well, it's pretty much every fifth Sunday. Every fifth. Within a, a given year, you have you have four. Every quarter, you have a fifth Sunday. Mm -hmm. So this is something new. Usually, we, we would have a mission Sunday. That ended up being a Sunday that people don't like attending church. Because with that, you have a mission choir. It's very, everybody with white on. You know, it's very uh, formal type of setting. Family and friend day, it relaxes people, come as you are. And it, it, it makes a more lively worship experience. We want people to be focusing on Jesus Christ and not on what they're wearing. Absolutely. But if you want to wear a tie, even though we say you don't, uh, to leave it at home, if you want to leave a hat, you can you can do that. But we want people to feel free to just come. Some people wear sweatsuits, jeans, you name it. Absolutely. But it's not what you wear that's most important, but it's what's it's your heart. God looks at your heart. So that's what we're trying to focus on. Focus on. I believe that's a very important message to get out to the community. Thank you. As you heard, this is every fifth Sunday here at Antioch Baptist Church. Again, that's 268. East Julian Street of San Jose. Come out and join us any fifth Sunday or any Sunday at all exactly. because pa Pastor Gregory Lawson is very welcoming. On Fridays, we have Friday Night Live for youth from the hours of 7 to 9. You have an alternative for just hanging out in the community. It's a safe environment. Uh, they, do, they go different places together. They do things here. You're able to let your hair down. There's food, there's fun, there's fellowship. And so that happens every Friday. It's mainly middle school and high school uh, kids, but we've had people from San Jose State University in that, in that particular uh, uh, meeting on, on Fridays. It's every Friday from 7 to 9 here at Antioch. Okay. But not only that, we have also Friday morning, we have the food ministry. We serve about 200 people in the community of all ethnicities, Hispanic, Asian, and African Americans right here. We pretty much, everybody from the community, they come here for food on Friday. Now they're coming on Sunday for food, spiritual food also. Excellent. So what we, time is your Friday ministry for your food giveaway? It starts around nine, from nine to 12. People start getting tickets around nine o'clock. And it, there's about 200 families that come every week. Most of their food, produce, produce come right from this church. Excellent. A lot of those people have gone from that ministry, now they're part of the church, and they're now serving other people. As a church, we want to be a church that's about serving the community, because that's what it's all about. Not who can serve us, but who we can serve. Beautiful. And that's the ministry of Jesus Christ. He taught us to serve. 
That is every Friday morning around 9 o'clock, Antioch Baptist Church does hand out food vouchers. So if you are in need of a meal or a few groceries, please come out and join us any Friday at 9 o'clock to receive your bag of groceries. And then on Friday evenings, as you mentioned, Youth Ministry hosts a, a community night. Right. Basically, you come as you are and you're able to mingle with youth from the ages anywhere from... From 12 to 18. We call it Friday Night Live. Friday Night Live. Friday Night Live. So that means it's live. It's live. Everyone it's live. is in here fellowshipping and right. having a good time with the Lord. Right. So come out and join us any given Friday. And is there anything else you want to add? Oh, definitely. I cannot overlook the one hour watch. One hour watch. On, Wednesdays, exactly is that? on Wednesdays from 7 to 8, we have a... Bible study and prayer service called the One Hour Watch. We start off with just a few people, a few people when I first got here, a handful, but now we have roughly about 100 people that come out, so we pretty much fill in this area. Okay. And it's, it's interactive. We have praise and worship. We have the study of God's word. We have uh, acrostics. It's almost like you're at a high school game, high school football game. We have like a pep rally. So we have people that were cheerleaders years ago, they're getting a chance to cheer again. We have youth involved, we have of all ages. We've had them as young as, as five years old to 95 coming to our one hour watch. It's something very new and it's based on the biblical principle. When Jesus was in the Garden of Gethsemane, uh, the day before he was crucified on that Thursday night, he took, he took his disciples to pray. And he asked them, can you not watch with me for one hour? And they fell asleep on them three times in one hour. But for our one hour watch, you cannot fall asleep. And if you do, I will personally come up to you and shake you. <laughs> but it's a, it's a very lively, people enjoy it. Other churches come here too, their members come here too. Excellent. And you don't have to be a member of Antioch to be a part of the one hour watch. It's a I, very exciting thing. I love that um, there is strength and solidarity. So having, being open to other churches, if you belong to another church, come out, you're still welcome to join. Um, join the festivities and invite us out to your events as well. Is there Thank you. anything else you'd like to add, Pastor? Well, coming up, that would be a, a men's Bible study coming up. It's, it will become Bible study. A men's Bible study. It's called the 33 series. 33 is the number of years that Jesus lived before he was crucified. So for six weeks there will be a course, uh, a men's Bible study that I will be playing lead. And this is something I've done for 25 years, both in New York City, Atlanta, Georgia, in Oakland, and also now here at Antioch. Okay. I want to get men excited about being together, studying the word dealing with issues that men go through because believe me we got issues that we have to go through also exactly. and it's important that we can speak into the lives of men and uh, meet them where they are meet them where they are so we talked about some things that men go through and every man I don't care how old you are we will have something for you we got to have it for the men of this church the men of the community uh, from San Jose State University we're gonna open it up to them it would be men come together to pray, study, God, study God's word. And that more information will be coming up on that. But it's a six week course. So after that course is over, then we have another one coming up uh, later. I mean, we look forward to seeing that. Another thing on that, uh, across the nation, young men are going through a lot of, a lot of stuff. And yes. If you look at what happened to Michael Brown in Ferguson, Missouri, if you look at what happened to uh, uh, Trayvon, Martin. Trayvon in Florida, when you look at the young man that was choked to death in New York City, yes. when you look at the young man who was bullied at San Jose State University right in our backyard, yes. we want to deal with the issues. We want them to know that this is a place that's a safe haven and that we will support them. We're not just going to look the other way. We're going to speak up and speak out because, because they are important. They are important. And uh, they don't have to be our sons for us to, to care because at this church we want to be a village church. It takes a village to raise anybody. And no man is an island. Everybody needs somebody. Absolutely. So sometimes as men, as men we go through struggles and we feel like we're alone, but we want you to know that we all are going through struggle together. And some of our answers will come through Jesus Christ because Jesus Christ makes a difference in our life. Yes, the most important difference. Exactly. Thank you, Pastor. I thank you. Thank you for your time. Come again. Absolutely. All right.